and charge for crimes against humanity. Well, you know what? I I absolutely support uh, freedom of speech, and we've got some passionate people out there, and and uh, that uh, are really uh, passionate about their cause, and and good, and, and I applaud that. I think that that's a good thing. We do have an international court, and I think um, through that process, if someone is is charged, uh, tried, and arrested and sentenced, then that's that process that that goes through. So. Uh, you know, I, I would leave it at that. What do you what do you what do you say to some of the human rights groups that say that the conference is basically sort of aiding and abetting the former president? Well, I, I, this is not a political event, event. This is not a political event. This is a this is a summit and and a conversation with uh, many diverse people. And I think that it's uh, you know it's quite relevant in this this at this time in our juncture to talk about the international stage, to talk about the next generation and how we can change what. Uh, what has occurred in the past, and I think those are very good conversations to have. I guess I guess the point though that human rights groups and you know uh, the Canadian Center for International Justice, uh, Lawyers Against War, are saying is that under Canadian law, which well, you know what, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, and I think there's an international court that they can petition and uh, move move through that process. And uh, if he is to be arrested or, or tried and convicted, then that's the process that they go through. How do you feel about torture? Pardon me? How do you feel about torture? Thank you. Thank you.